Nah, I scared you, huh? <laughs> Anyways, I love GitHub. It's one of the best websites to ever exist. Oh, by the way, you like the new sloth? Looks pretty good, right? I think it has more personality than before. What do you think? Where was I? <laughs> All right. Wait, you don't know what GitHub is? Oh, you must be a beginner, or you just ended up here without any programming knowledge. Um, welcome, I guess. GitHub is basically Google Drive for code, but way, way more powerful. You can store your code, track every single change you've ever made, and collaborate with literally anyone in the world. It's pretty cool, right? I'm obsessed with GitHub. I dream about GitHub. I want to name my firstborn child GitHub. GitHub isn't just a website. It's a way of life. I want you to name one other hub that gives you as much pleasure as GitHub. Wait, GitHub really is an incredible place for programmers. It has everything, and I'm not exaggerating. You want to learn from the best developers in the world? GitHub. You need code that actually works? GitHub. You want to build your programming career? GitHub. This website has everything a programmer could ever need, and somehow it's completely free. And now GitHub isn't really a secret thing. Over 150 million developers use GitHub. There's over 420 million repositories, which means there's 420 million projects just sitting there that you can explore. And I'm not talking about random hobby projects. Every tech company you've ever heard of, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Netflix, they all have code on GitHub. Like, think about that for a second. The code that runs the apps you use every day, it's right there. This platform is great. And one of the main reasons for this is because of open source. You can read the code, download the code, learn from it, whatever you want. Well, as long as the license allows it, but that's a whole different problem. But besides that, um, wait, what's this video supposed to be about? All right, because there's so many open source projects, I want to spend some time and shout out some of my favorite repos and projects that'll give you knowledge, wow. make you smart, give you that 500 IQ boost, turn that forehead into a five head, make your hairline recede, turn you bald. And I promise that at least one of these repos will help you out. Now, if I don't mention a specific repo, I'm sorry, there's just so many of them. If I had to mention every single one, this video would uh, never come out. And if you already know the repos I mentioned, congrats. I didn't ask, but that's cool. Yeah, leave your own recommendations in the comments since uh, you don't touch grass like me. And I think that's pretty crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. And rats make me crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. And rats make me crazy. Crazy? I was, I was crazy, crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. And rats, and rats make me awesome list. This is pretty interesting because it's not really one repo. It's a type of repo. If you go on GitHub and search awesome, followed by any technology or programming topic, so awesome Python, awesome computer science, science, awesome machine learning, and inside that repo, it'll contain useful resources for those technologies. And these aren't just random resources. These are lists maintained by people who've basically already done all the research for you. There's an awesome list for basically every type of technology or topic. I guess you could say they're awesome. <laughs> I'll leave a link to the general awesome repo that has all the awesome lists in one place. Hey, sorry for interrupting. Uh, I just wanted to shout out my newsletter, Sloth Bytes. Free programming information every week to make you a better programmer. It's free. Just give me an email. Okay, bye. The algorithms. If you're learning data structures and algorithms, or you're doing some interview prep, this repo is pretty helpful. It has every algorithm implemented in basically every language. Well, actually every popular language. And it's not just generic data structures and algorithms like binary search trees, linked lists, but other algorithms like ciphers, computer vision, compression, electronics. If something has an algorithm, this repo will most likely have it. Now, whenever you select an algorithm example, sometimes it'll contain useful comments explaining step by step how it works. So if you're having skill issues with algorithms and you need some type of example, you should definitely check it out. And since we're talking about GitHub and open source projects, let me introduce you to a useful tool for your own repo. And this tool is going to change your life because it's definitely changed mine. Code Rabbit. It's the most installed AI app on GitHub's marketplace, and it's also today's video sponsor. Now, the reason why Code Rabbit is so popular is because code reviews suck. You have to wait days for feedback on simple issues, while the reviewer has to waste hours reading your spaghetti code instead of building new features. Code Rabbit solves this by automating code reviews with AI that understands your entire code base, which lets you ship higher quality code in half the time. Whenever you send a pull request, Code Rabbit will review it, and it's going to look for potential bugs, security issues, and anti-patterns. Once it finishes, it'll provide you with comments, suggestions, or even one-click fixes. And if you don't like the suggestion that Code Rabbit gave, 
gave you, you can chat with it to generate another fix or to raise a separate issue within the repo. And if your project already has specific coding styles or project requirements, you can customize CodeRabbit to follow those. It integrates with popular Git platforms like GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, and Azure DevOps. It's very easy to set up too. It only takes two clicks. And for open source projects, CodeRabbit is free. And the results speak for themselves. Teams that use CodeRabbit merge PRs four times faster with a 90% fewer bugs, freeing developers to focus on what truly matters. It's trusted by over 5,000 companies. It's reviewed over 10 million pull requests and over 1 million repos use it. Even the Linux Foundation uses it. And if they use it, you already know it's high quality. If you want to check out CodeRabbit or you have an open source project that would benefit from this, click the link in the description to get started. Build your own X. I really like this repo because it solves a lot of problems. It gives you project ideas and it improves your programming skills, whether you're a beginner or you have some experience. Because their approach for learning how to code is, if you want to learn how to program better, why don't you build the tools that every programmer uses yourself? Which means this repo contains guides on how to build your own versions of popular tools that software engineers use every single day. You want to understand how Git actually works? Well, why don't you build it yourself? You're curious about databases? Build your own. They have guides for things like building your own operating system, your own programming language, your own blockchain, and a lot of other things. Wait, build your own emulator or virtual machine? Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. And these guides aren't just basic Hello World tutorials. They're basically deep dives into how these technologies actually work under the hood. If you follow any of these tutorials that they have here, you're definitely gonna understand why things work the way they do. Now, if you're interested in this and you wanna take this even further, the people behind this repo actually created a platform called Code Crafters. Not sponsored by the way, but I am an affiliate. So if you wanna fund my McDonald's addiction and get 40% off this, you can use my link right here. Okay, okay, I've been selling out a little too much. I've been a little rude. I also apologize for jump scaring you at the beginning. As an apology, I'm gonna share this repo. That'll save you some dollar roonies. Free for dev. This repo is gonna save you some money. It's a repo that contains platforms or services that are free or have a really nice free tier. The list has a lot of useful things like cloud management, analytics, APIs, databases, hosting services, basically any type of service you think you need for your project. You'll probably find it in this repo and hopefully it helps you out in your project. While this repo really does have a lot of stuff, you could easily spend hours or days just researching. Was that a good apology? Do you forgive me? Am I forgiven? No? Okay, okay, fair enough. I'll give you another repo then. Free programming books. Pretty obvious what this repo is. It's just a bunch of programming books. It's organized by programming language or by subject. They're also organized by human languages too. So English, Spanish, Russian, whatever you speak. They also have other stuff besides books. They also have things like cheat sheets. They also have free online courses in a bunch of different languages, interactive programming resources, problem sets, podcasts. Y you see everything in the video, right? I, I don't need to explain this. You're not blind, right? Uh, wow. Now that I think about it, there's really no reason for me to explain a repo for over a minute because most of these repos, you can understand it in the first 10 seconds. I'm, I'm also just lazy and I don't want to yap anymore. How about I shout out a bunch of repos and explain them in just a few words and you can check them out if you want. Sounds like a deal? Cool. Roadmap.sh. It's a repo that contains roadmaps for a bunch of different technologies or career paths. Computer science, a complete education education in computer science for free. Engineering blogs, a repo that contains a bunch of blogs so you can learn from smart people. System design primer. It's a repo that contains a lot of resources to learn system design. Um, what else? What else? Public APIs. It's a repo that contains a bunch of APIs that you can use. Open source alternatives. It's a repo that contains a bunch of open source alternatives to everyday SaaS products. I just stole that from the repo. Papers we love. This repo contains a list of computer science papers and also a guide on how to read these papers and where to find papers. Really good if you're into research. Best websites a programmer should visit. It's in the name. LLM from scratch. This repo is honestly just a tutorial on how to build your own ChatGPT. It's really cool and you'll learn a lot about how ChatGPT works. I recommend it 100%. ML from scratch. This is a pretty cool repo if you're interested in machine learning, where you're going to get to learn how to implement fundamental machine learning models and algorithms like regression, neural networks, clustering. It's a lot of cool stuff. Made with ML. This one's another machine learning repo where you get to learn how to combine machine learning with software engineering to create some pretty cool machine learning projects. That was pretty fun. I hope one of these repos help you out and make you uh, smart or help you out in your future projects. And if you want another video talking about open source alternatives to certain products, let me know because there's a lot of cool things on GitHub. I could make countless videos on this. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Ooh. <laughs>